What's up everybody? This is Quet. Today we're going to be doing a video on the terminal. Uh, the terminal honestly is like my best friend ever since I've become a developer. I use it every day. I run a ton of commands through it. And it's very uh, resourceful. Um, if you're if you haven't used the terminal before, you probably and you have a Mac, you probably use Finder to get to all your files and folders and interact with that and, you know, kind of click and mouse around and kind of choose what you need from there. However, Terminal can take care of a lot of that for you. You can also use it to download software. You can use it to upload software. It's it's very powerful and can do a ton of stuff for you. So uh, first things first, in order to access Terminal, if you've never done it before, uh, the quickest way is to use Spotlight. So just use Control Spacebar. Start typing in Term. It'll pop up. Click Enter. It's going to open. So from there, we have our terminal uh, window open. I like to expand mine kind of down the side here and then, you know, work with everything else and it can kind of be in the background and I can see a long list of commands. Um, so from here, we're inside of what's called the root directory. The root directory is essentially the starting point of all of your files on your computer. Uh, you start here and then you navigate into your files. Uh, that's probably going to make a little bit more sense as we go on. And I'm going to show you um, your first command now. So PWD. PWD essentially uh, just points you, uh, it tells you exactly where you are on your computer right now. So right now we're in slash user slash Marquette. That's my root directory. I'm a user. Um, my name is Marquette. That's, I'm, I'm the user using the computer right now. I'm in my root directory. Um, and um, the next command I'll show you is LS. This is it lists out all of the um, files and directories inside of a directory. So right now I'm inside the root directory. You can see I have my applications, my desktop, my documents, my downloads. All of those folders that you will see in Finder are right here, as well as a couple other directories that I've made myself that some probably need to be moved or deleted and they have like different stuff in it but um yeah it, it just shows a bunch of directories and files inside of a uh inside of another directory if you've never heard the term directory before it's just a fancy term for folder folder directory same thing so we're inside of my root folder we have a bunch of other folders they're called directories you can see it listed here and if I want to go inside of a directory, then we use a command called cd. cd stands for change directory. And that takes you from uh, from one place um, from one place to another. So for example, if I want to go into my projects folder, I'll type in cd. I'll type in projects, enter. And now you see this change here. So at first, you see these squiggly lines here. That's called a tilde. That lets you know you're inside of your root directory. And like I said, everything starts at your root, and then you move forward. Now you see the tilde slash projects. Whenever you want to go into a new directory, um, you want to type slash whatever it is. Um, in the case that you're just moving from one directory to the very next directory, you don't need to slash. The slash is explicit. However, if you want to chain them together, you do need to put a slash in between and we'll back up in a few seconds and go over that. So now we're in my project folder and if you use that other command that I showed you, well, uh, the first command, pwd, it shows you that we're in user slash marquette slash project. So basically we went from root to projects. And then if you use the ls command to list out what I have in here, you'll see a number of projects here. Um, that I've worked on or am working on listed out. So if you want to go back to root at this point, you can just type in CD. CD is going to take you back to root. If you put nothing behind it, just CD, it's always going to take you back to root. Another way to get back to root, let's go into projects again. CD and then a uh, shift and tilde. A uh, shift and if you look in your upper left hand corner, you should see the tilde um, character. You can type that. That will also bring you back to your directory. So now that I've shown you how to CD into a directory, how to list everything inside of a directory, and how to see exactly where you are, 
let's uh, CD back into projects. And now I'm going to put a slash here. And uh, let's see, let me pick a directory I want to go into. So let's say that I want to um, now go into my, my style board app application. Um, we're going to CD into projects. We're going to CD into style board. And you see how I chained that together, how I made sure that I put the, um, the slash in front of style board. So now we're inside of, um, we went from our root directory to projects to style board. If we do PWD, we see it listed out here. And if we do a LS, we see all of the directories and files that I have inside of style board. And we can see it even further and see even more. Um, now let's say that I went into style board like I did just now, but that's not the project that I really want to work on. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to go there. Well, we want to go back, but we don't want to go all the way back to root. And if we try to CD and type in projects, we're going to get this error here that says no follow directory exists. That's because projects doesn't exist inside of style board. Style board exists inside of projects. Now, if there was a directory called projects inside of um, style board, then we would go there, but then we're not in the right project directory. So to go back, we want to type in cd dot dot. What dot dot says is go back one level. So cd dot dot, and you can see that we're inside of projects now, and to prove it, I'll put pwd. Now, I'm not going to type pwd probably anymore in this video, just because um, while it is helpful, I do have everything listed out right here inside of my terminal so we we don't necessarily need it so now we're back in projects and I actually have an image sorry uh, take this over here so I actually have an image I want to pull up for you that'll show you what a um, I guess I would call this a project tree so if we look here, um, this is our directory that we're working in. And you see um, from here, if we CD, we go into index.html. Um, well, if we CD into this directory and we do a ls, we should see index.html and we see this accessories um, directory. So we'll see this file, we see this directory. And so if we CD in an accessory and then CD in a CSS, um, this is called going up a level. So we're at directory. Directory is the root level of the project that we're working on. It's not necessarily the root of the computer, but it's the root level of the project. If we CD into directory and then CD into um, accessory, then we've gone up a level. To go back a level, you want to CD dot dot and you're back to directory. Uh, well, you're back to the... Um, yeah, the beginning of directory. So essentially, accessories is going up a level. Going into CSS is going up a level. Going to style CSS and opening that is um, moving up and down levels. And if you want to go down, you'll um, use dot dot to go back down a level. So um, that might have been a little confusing. Hopefully, I didn't explain that too badly. But we're gonna. We're going to work on this. We're going to practice. We're actually going to do it, and you'll see more of exactly how this works. So dot dot will take you back a level. Um, in short, is what I want to show you. So then um, we have this command make deer that we're going to use now. And this is kind of where we're really going to get started with um, not just moving around, but actually creating, building, doing more powerful, a little bit more powerful stuff in the terminal. So we're going to cd back to our root directory. And now I have another command for you. And it's three different commands to do this. Um, my preference is Control l because that's how I started. Um, another option is Control k And the one I'm about to show you right now is just typing in the word clear. That clears everything out, deletes everything, gives you a nice, clean, blank slate if you don't want a list going all the way down to have to keep up with if you just like to start back at the top. So here in our root directory, I want to create a new directory. 
So to create a new directory or a new folder, remember directory folder, same thing. Type in make dir, M K D I R. So make dir, and then you want to give it a name. So we're gonna call this um, CLI, command for command line interface. So CLI command line interface practice. Now one thing that you always want to do when um, creating so something that I do now is when I create files or directories, I always make sure that it's kebab case, um, which is to say that I have a hyphen in between every word. If there's no hyphen, it breaks the it it, it breaks things a little. It makes things a little more difficult. Um, and I also like kebab case because it it allows me to type in something. Like if I look, let's let's make this right. And let's say that I want to CD into um, Kalama, uh, CLI practice. I can type CD and then CL. And if I click tab, CLI, if I click tab, it's going to autocomplete for me. It's going to say, oh, you're looking for CLI practice. This is the only thing that, you know, once I type in CLI, there's no other um, directory of CLI. It, so it knows, like, oh, this is what you're trying to finish. It autocompletes. If that's split up, it causes a little trouble. It um, spaces can just be problematic. So always make sure that you don't have any spaces in your file names. I no longer have spaces in any file names. Um, I always use a hyphen, maybe an underscore, um, to name everything that I have. So there's there's never any gaps anymore. Just I promise you, it's the best thing that you're gonna do from here on out. So um yeah so. If I want to move in the command, the CLI practice directory, I just use that CD command that I showed you earlier. So we're going to do that. You can see that we're inside of CLI practice. Cool. So we're going to like recreate this here, right? So this directory is CLI practice. We want to create a file called index. Well, yeah, we want to create a file called index.html. So, and we also want to create a directory called accessories. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make that new directory, accessories. So we're going to make their accessories, click that, and if we do the ls command, we see accessories is right there. We can see it. We can see the end to it, and boom, there's nothing there. If we do ls, we haven't created anything to go into there. So we're not going to do that quite yet. We're not going to start creating things yet. We're going to back up a little bit. So we're going to back up one level and go back to CLI practice. So you see we're inside of accessories. We're going to go back to CLI practice. And there we are. We're back in CLI practice. So now we want to create a file. We want to create this index.html file. So in order to do that, new command, touch. Not touchy, touch. Touch. And then you just put in the name of the file. And also, excuse my bad handwriting. I, I wasn't blessed with neat handwriting. So if this is difficult for you to read, I apologize. Um, yeah, but we want to touch, we want to create a new file. Touch is how you create a file. So we use touch index.html. If you click enter here, do a ls, we now see that we have this accessories directory and we have the index.html. Cool, perfect. Um, now there's some other things I could go into, like how to type directly into the index.html file from the terminal um, and how to read if there's anything on the index.html file. Honestly, I'm not going to go into it because I honestly think it's kind of, it's not pointless, but it's not helpful. You're not going to use it. I've been using the terminal for about a year now and I've rarely, the only time I ever used those commands was when learning about them and when teaching other people about them. Never have I used it outside of that. So I don't think there's really a point in teaching you guys about it. So um, cool, so now we have this file tree going, we're, we're getting it going. So now we wanna, um, we wanna create those other directories that I told you about. So really quickly, um, before we do that, I wanna go over the commands that I have showed you so far. We've gone over CD for changing directories. We've gone over using dots to go back a level. We've used LS to list everything inside of a directory. We've used make dir. Um, MKDIR to create a directory. We've used touch to create files. We've used, um, I've gone over control L, C, 
control K or the clear keyword or command, sorry, the um clear out everything that you see inside of your terminal and just kind of bring everything back to the top. You'll still be inside of whatever directory that you're inside of when you type those commands, by the way. Um, so we've gone over quite a bit so far. And the next thing that I want to do is um, just keep going with this directory chart and then just show you a few more little uh, helpful hints. So we're going to CD back into our accessories directory. Remember, you can use tab to autocomplete. So we're going to CD into that. And then we're going to create we're going to create the CSS, the JS and the image um, directories. Now like I said, use make deer to do that. But since I have 3 to make, I don't want to type make deer and then type everything 3 times, right? So I can make that a little quicker by typing make deer CSS. If I put a space here, it knows that I'm trying to make a new directory. And that's one of the things I was saying earlier, you don't want to have spaces. If you use spaces, you have to use escape characters to make sure that the terminal knows that, no, I'm not trying to make anything new or issue a new command. I'm actually just trying to use the same one. I just want to use a space in my name. It just, it gets problematic. It's, it's a pain. So what you want to, so when you have a space, terminal just thinks you're going off and doing something completely new. So with that said, if I now type in JS space image, it's now going to create three directories. So if I had, you know, some name like cool, cool thing, and I click enter and LS, I have two, uh, I have two directories. I have cool and I have thing. We don't want that. So let's go back, make, uh, let's make the error. CSS, JS, image. Do a LS, and then we have these five directories here. So now that brings us to a new command. We don't want cool, we don't want thing. Those are trash, let's give it a bit. So that new command is remove, which is just RM. So the RM command will delete something. Um, when using RM, it moves it to the trash, uh, to the trash can, so you can still recover it. Um, there's something else that you can use that we'll get into that's a little bit more dangerous that'll delete it from the computer permanently. You'll never be able to recover it and you want to be careful when you use it. So, um, yeah, so we have this RM, RM command here. And we're going to remove cool and we're going to remove thing. Like I said, with the spaces, it knows that I'm going to remove both of those. We click enter. It says that they're not directories. Oh, it is a directory. So that brings the problem um, in which I'm going to tell you guys about flags. So now, since that didn't work, we have this command. We have this thing called a flag. To make a flag, you, you put a, a hyphen and then the name of the flag. So um, we're going to use dash R. That stands for recursive. What that does is it removes every instance of whatever you're about to type in from the computer. It's gone forever. Um, if you're in your root directory, do not do this. If you're in your root directory and type in rm-r, you'll delete your whole computer, operating system, everything. Your computer is completely dead. It's a paperweight at this point. So do, make sure that when you're typing this in, you're typing in the right thing after it because it's deleting it from your computer forever. You can't, you can't recover it unless you have it backed up somewhere. So we want to get rid of cool, we want to get rid of thing. So we're going to use this dash r flags um, to get rid of it. So type in cool, type in thing. Um, and normally this is how you get rid of directories. I think there is another way, but I, I just always use the, the recursive flag. And now if you look, we see that we have those three directories. Uh, so now I'm just gonna I'm gonna create that style that CSS and that script that JS um, files. However, I'm not gonna create those images. You guys kind of get the point from there. So we can CD into CSS here, and now we're gonna get a little more advanced. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. We can use and and double ambassands, and we can use touch style.css. What this does is it executes both commands. Um, so as long as everything on the left hand side um, works out 
you know, if we can CD into CSS, if that doesn't fail, you know, we type the command correctly, then it's going to execute this next command, which is to create style.css. So this is a little trick that I like to use to kind of get more things done at once on one line. Instead of typing something, enter, typing something, enter, typing something, enter, I can just type, 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 click enter, everything executes at once. So we're gonna here we're gonna cd into that CSS directory and we're gonna create a file called style.css. Click enter, it's done. If we click ls, we see style.css is there. Now we want to go back one to get back to accessories. And while I'm at it, another thing you can do is put that slash, and then we can type in the JS file. The um, essentially we're gonna go back one. We're gonna go back from the CSS directory into the accessories directory, but then we're gonna go forward into the um, JS directory, and then we're gonna use our double ambassand here, and if this is right. If we didn't make a mistake in typing this command, we're gonna we're gonna touch or we're gonna create a new uh, JavaScript file. So we're gonna create script.js. Click enter here. Do a ls. It worked. So everything is working lovely here. It's it's everything is good. Um, and we've learned a ton of commands so far. Um, so now let's let's take a step back and. Oops. If we uh, so if we go back to our um, uh, I went back to the to by accident. So here we go. If we look now, we have this accessory directory. It's set up with everything here except some type of images. We have our index at HTML. We're could we're in a pretty good spot. We've learned a lot of uh, we've learned a lot of commands. All right, cool. So I made a quick edit here and um, now I'm just gonna go back into the last two commands I want to go over with with you guys and that's gonna be the open command and the code command so there's a few other commands I probably could have went over with you guys but I feel like these are the most important to really get a grasp on um, using the command line so you can use things like copy and move um, but I'm, I really don't like copy and move. I really would rather use the GUI if I need to copy and move anything, whether it's Finder or uh, the text editor I'm using. Um, those commands just get really, really clunky to me, and I, I honestly hate them. Um, so the open command, so now that we have this CLI uh, practice, um, if we look here, we're, we're here and we have the index.html. If we run the command open, then type in index.html, click enter here, we're going to be taking off the screen. Um, but essentially, it, it opens our index.html file. And let me move it over here. Cool. So we have our index.html file open here in the um, web browser. So we have nothing inside of here. And so that brings me to my next command, which is code. If you have, if you use Visual Code's Visual Studio Code, you can set this up. Um, I, I think it kind of gets set up automatically when you download it. It walks you through it. If not, um, just Google how to set up code, the code command inside of the terminal. It's not that, it's not too difficult. Um, but you type in code and period, um, that's going to open everything inside that directory. So one period stands for everything inside of a directory. Um, do something with everything. Code period means open everything inside of the directory. So if we type in that command, our um, text editor is going to open. So opening another window. Bring it over here. And you can see we have everything. We have an index.html. We have our accessories. Really quickly, I'm going to set up an HTML page. Cool. 
I'm going to just make a quick paragraph tag. It's going to say, what's up, YouTube? Sure. Save it. And then if we refresh our page, we see what's up, YouTube right here so that allows you to open up your text editor um, you can open up specific files um, by using code and in the file that you want to open um, so yeah that's a very good feature that's a very nice feature that's built in I use that one daily as well um, and that kind of goes over all of the commands that I want to get into today so hopefully this really gets you started out on using the terminal um, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable at first um, especially navigating through uh, files and going up and down directories but I promise you once you get the hang of it it's gonna be your best friend when coding you're gonna use it all the time it's pretty amazing um, and yeah that's gonna be the end of this video I'm gonna have another video coming soon on how to use git um, in github and in that video we'll also expand on a couple of github commands uh, or git commands that you can use inside of your terminal in order to bring things down from github, push things to github um, there's a lot of features you can use with that um, with the git command so we'll touch on that in the next video as well um, and just get you uh, even more acclimated to using the terminal so um yeah um thank you guys for watching the video thank everybody for the support i've been getting a lot of support on twitter and a lot of people telling me to keep going keep making videos and it's it's really been um inspiring me to, to keep moving and keep making videos for you guys so uh you know like i said i wouldn't be doing my job right if i don't actually got to subscribe to the video if you're not uh to the channel if you're not already subscribed if this video uh helped you just go ahead and hit the like button that also really helps me with some youtube stuff in the background um and i, I greatly appreciate it and if you have any uh any comments uh any questions or anything you can always uh leave a comment or just tweet me i'll definitely get back to you and thanks for watching